Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Now today I am going to be talking about my most anticipated books that are releasing in 2020, so just next year. I'm posting this the last day of 2020, so literally these books could be coming out tomorrow and I am so excited about them. In this video I've included both YA and adult fantasy and I'm so excited to get back into adult fantasy and to delve into it more, especially with some of these new releases that seem so promising at that reading level. There are also some really intriguing YA releases that are coming out and one that I'm even able to read a little bit earlier than its release date. Now I'm going to go in order of release date so you guys can check these as we go and see if you will be interested in reading them too. If you guys have any other new releases that you're excited about and that you want to let me know, please comment down below and let me know because I am always into hearing about new books that are coming out. Not that my wallet is going to be happy, but that's okay. We won't tell her. The first one that I want to mention is the one on my January TBR and I actually have an arc of this that I received in a past fairy loot box but I have been waiting to read it until January and that is the Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. Now this cover is obviously beautiful it's got these frayed edges and I'm hoping the finished copy for this book comes out in a similar manner because this cover oh my gosh it is stunning that gold foiling gets me every time. This book is about a girl who lives in a community where women are not valued very highly and they're valued by the purity of their blood so they have this bleeding ceremony in which you bleed and the color of your blood is discovered and if it's impure then they mark you as a demon and it's worse than death so she's hoping for red blood because that is the normal blood I guess in their community and she ends up getting golden blood which is the impure blood of a demon but before she's able to be taken this lady approaches her and lets her know that she's actually one of the gifted ones and her gold blood means that she possesses extraordinary gifts so she's recruited into this new army of extraordinary people with these great gifts and there begins our story that's literally all i know about it but the premise of this one sounds so amazing and i believe it's also the first in a trilogy as well i also want to mention that this one comes out in february 2021 i think it's february 16th but i could be mistaken so the next book that i'm really looking forward to is also a ya fantasy and that is called cast in firelight by dana swift this is going to be the first in a series and this book the first book comes out january 19th of 2021. This is a book about a prince and princess that have their own magical gifts and talents that end up being in an arranged marriage, betrothed to be wed. So they're not actually yet married. They agree to it, but they both acknowledge that it's going to be a pretty horrendous <laughs> marriage and obviously neither one of them wants to actually get married to the other. They end up meeting in this criminal underbelly and masking who their real selves are to the other. So they actually meet but they don't know who they are and thus begins our story which I think is a really intriguing trope and premise. I haven't quite read something where you have two betrothed folks that know that they're going to get married to each other but that don't quite yet know who the other is and then they meet under concealed circumstances. I I think this is going to be a really good read and I'm hoping that it's a five star read just based on the synopsis. So the next book is actually an adult fantasy novel and it's called This Golden Flame by Emily Victoria and I think this one is also the first in a trilogy. This follows our main character Karis who has lost her brother and is currently trying to find him but her family is tied to a place called the Scriptorium and their sole focus is to try to awaken the ancient automaton magic. I'm not sure exactly what the automaton magic is for but she ends up by accidentally waking this automaton named Alex and she does this while looking for her brother so it's totally an accident from what I understand but Alex has no idea why he was made especially since the father of the automatons the person who made them ends up wanting to destroy them so that's intrigue enough for me to be like what why what do these things hold secret since the scriptorium is so obsessed with these automatons it ends up hunting Karis and Alex and thus begins our story so we have two things that really intrigue me first is why the father of this magical automaton system tried to destroy it and then also what is going to happen when and if the scriptorium is able to catch Karis and Alex. This particular read to me seems a little sci-fi-ish too because automaton in my brain it just sounds kind of like something of a robot so these sound like magical robots which sounds amazing. <laughs> I don't like 
magical robots on awesome. I am really excited for this one. It comes out in February as well, and I'm hoping that it just hits the ground running with the adventure story that it has promised us. So the next book is actually a YA thriller, and I haven't read too many of these, but this one sounds especially promising. It's called The Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Boulay, and this follows our main character, Donis, who is biracial, so she is half native. She ends up having a crush on this boy who seems like he has a lot to hide, and he's the hockey star in this hometown of hers. And he is not part of her reservation, and he is not native from what I understand, but he is part of the hometown and the two areas that she is torn between. And she ends up witnessing this really shocking murder and ends up being questioned for the details of the murder. She ends up agreeing to go undercover for this and I guess discover some shocking details and also has to balance her love for her native heritage and reservation with the love of her hometown and the people in that hometown. So I haven't read a premise like this before and I feel like it mixes a lot of different themes and a lot of current themes in the world today. I also would like to read more stories and by more authors of native heritage because I feel like that is something that's really missing in my reading list. So this one is a perfect one to add to my anticipated reads and I am really looking forward to it. Firekeeper's Daughter also comes out in March and I believe it's March 6th. So the next one is one that is highly talked about on booktube and that is Witches Steeped in Gold by Sianan Smart. This one comes out in April of 2021 and it is a Jamaican inspired witch story which will be the first in the series. And it talks about these two unlikely characters, one that's lying in a cell and another one that is the queen's daughter who is planning on being killed so that the queen can take her power and neither of them wants to die. So they form this unlikely alliance and thus begins our intriguing magical story. And that's literally all that they're telling us about this novel until we get into it, which I don't hate because I like to know as little as possible going into a book. As long as it compels me and sounds intriguing within like two sentences, I am there. And especially a fantasy debut and a Jamaican inspired fantasy debut it sounds like something I've probably never read and I'm really intrigued to dive into. The next one is adult fantasy and I also haven't heard this one talk too much on book two and I have a feeling that it might be an underrated read for 2021 so I'm hoping that I can get my hands on it as soon as it's released and let you guys know how it is because I'm just so excited and that is called A Son of Storm by Sugi Davies Okumbawa. So I'm hoping I'm pronouncing last name right but it sounds really 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 good. So this is about a scholar who is our main character character. His name is Donso and he wants to get away from all the scholarly political intrigue of his family and he ends up finding this skin changing warrior whose name is Li Long and her kind are said to not have existed but she exists and she's from the nameless islands who are also not supposed to exist so he sets out on this journey to find these people and these islands that are not supposed to exist so that sounds really cool to me and it sounds like the adventure novel that i've been waiting for and introducing you to a whole new land and honestly when i get introduced to a new part of a magical world i end up loving the book even more and it makes me want to read that book more and more rather than finish it when we get crammed into a small part of that world it just takes the fun out of it so I think this is going to be the adventure novel that I'm craving and it's adult fantasy and the cover is freaking gorgeous and it just sounds like magic that I haven't probably seen in a while. This one is also coming out on May 11th. This next book is definitely one that I've seen talked about a little bit, but I still wanted to add it to my list because I think it's gonna be bomb and I can't wait. This author is not one that I've read from before, but I do have her other book and I feel like, and for me, the premises of her story sound really interesting. This one is called The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Suri. It starts off with one of our main characters, Malini, who's imprisoned by her dictator brother in this tower that used to have a lot of magic to it and we're introduced to the second main character whose name is Priya and she's a maid servant with a secret but she doesn't mind doing the dredging work of cleaning Malini's tower or cell because she is just happy to be able to keep her secret but then Malini finds out and bears witness to her secret and their fates become tangled so this to me sounds really interesting it's also the first in a trilogy and it comes out on June 10th of 2021 from what I understand Tasha Suri's previous series have been really well received and I feel like this one is also going to be really well received and one that I definitely want to add to my reading list and one that I want to pre-order. So the next one is called The Chosen and the Beautiful by Nyi Vo. This one is a Asian queer inspired retelling of The Great Gatsby Story and it is set again in 1920s America and 
it just sounds like it's gonna be dazzling and amazing and also very like different and inclusive than the original Great Gatsby, which is based on a man. And this one also sounds like there's gonna be some strong magical elements into it, but I just can't figure out how. The synopsis for me doesn't tell me enough to be able to explain the magic system or any of the magical elements. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be a more magical realism level of magic story or if it's gonna be somewhere in the mid fantasy range. Either way, I'm excited. Great Gatsby is a great story and I really like the time frame where it is set because it's very opulent, it's very beautiful, it's very dazzling, and I think this is going to be one of the most anticipated reads for the year for almost anyone that likes this type of genre of books. The Chosen and the Beautiful is set to come out also in June of 2021. The next book is called This Poison Heart by Kaylin Bayron, and this one comes out July of 2021. This is a YA fantasy, and you can't tell me that that cover isn't gorgeous because I know it's gorgeous and you can't tell me otherwise. So this this follows our main character Brie who has the magical ability of being able to grow anything from a seed. Her aunt dies so her parents and her inherit her aunt's estate where they think that she can just practice and learn how to control her power. She starts making these elixirs that she's able to sell and give to those in need all while they discover these kind of crazy secrets about the estate that their aunt used to live in and that now they live in. So she's making these elixirs until this one nefarious group comes by and asks for this almost impossible and dangerous elixir to make. And that is where the story begins. I think that this is going to be a really wild and interesting YA novel. It has a type of magic that I don't usually read and don't usually find intrigued by, but I feel like it's gonna be one of those quiet heroine to fierce heroine type of arcs. And those are always something that I really love. The next book I'm really excited for is called She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. This one comes out July 20th of 2021 and it is all over book twitter that's how i discovered it and ever seeing it on book twitter i have become just so hyped about it as well i don't want to go too far into the synopsis for this one because i feel like if you haven't heard about it definitely look it up see if it's in your genre but it is a fantasy story but it's said to be mulan meets the son of achilles in this queer asian inspired fantasy and i am all about it this one is adult inspired fantasy so there is also that element of a more advanced reading level and i think it'll just be really really amazing this one is set during the Ming Dynasty and our main character in this story I think is a female monk but at the sounds of it she also sounds like a warrior so I think that dichotomy in itself is going to be really interesting to read about. So I have really high hopes about this one, especially because it's also been hyped up on book Twitter and some of my favorite people are really excited about it. So that makes me really excited about it too. So I didn't want to talk too much about sequels in my anticipated releases video for 2021, just because sometimes you haven't read a sequel, so it's not fun to hear about someone else being excited about it. But there is one that I wanted to mention, and that one is A Psalm of Storms and Silence by Roseanne A. Brown. This is the sequel to A Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown that came out earlier in 2020. I have a special edition copy of this and it is so beautiful. Although I will say I haven't yet read it, I will be reading this in 2020, probably close to the release date of its sequel, just because I want to be able to binge them both. I have a feeling that I'm going to love the first one in the series so much so that I won't be able to physically wait. So I'm going to have to do something about it and that is just waiting until the second one is out before I'm able to read the first one. And this one comes out August 31st. The last book on my list of the 12 books that I'm anticipating for this next year is Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. This one comes out in fall of 2021 and we don't even have a cover yet. We don't even know what month it comes out yet but I'm so excited because I've heard really amazing things about Jay Kristoff's writing. I have still yet to get into his writing but I've heard amazing things about it and any story about a vampire is definitely one that's going to get my attention. This is supposed to be one of his new forays into a dark fantasy and I am all for it. Personally cannot wait to see what this is about. Again, it is adult fantasy and it is coming out in the fall of 2021. So that's it for my most anticipated reads of the year. I am so excited to get my hands on some of these, so excited to read some of these. There are also ones that I haven't mentioned because they are sequels, so I only mentioned about one sequel. And if those are missing and you're just like, what? How are they not on your list? Comment down below and we can definitely talk about it because trust me, they're on my list. I just didn't want to make this list too long. If you like this video, Video, please click the like button down below. I really appreciate it. And if you like my content, go ahead and subscribe and stick around for more videos. Thank you. Bye.